Welcome to the Trick Shift Garage. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fully clean your dirty old throttle body and get it running like new again. So let's get started. All right, so the first step you want to do is remove the negative terminal for the battery. All right, the next thing you want to do is remove your engine cover. We need to remove this air intake ducting. Loosen this one up down here. And then you could take this one off but mine's sticking so i'm gonna actually take mine off over here so you on those pliers and then it pops right off let's just rock it back and forth twist it if you have to take this side off that's that's not good with it being 200,000 plus miles i'm assuming it just dry rot it this will allow a lot of air in that's not being read by the mass sensor back here all right, so the next step you want to do is clamp off these two coolant hoses. And I got a hose clamp. Grab the coolant hose, squeeze it, and then pull this, this guy up. At this point, I'm just going to kind of tuck them, get them out of the way here. Remove this electrical connector right here. There you go. There's gonna be four bolts that's around. One of them's down there in the bottom right corner. And they're gonna be eight millimeter in size. All right, so this point, the throttle body should come right out. It's a little gasket here. This is the gasket. Pop off. This gasket looks okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it anyway. You know, just get some rags or towels it's just to keep any kind of debris or, or bugs or anything from going in there. All right, so here's the throttle body, and you can see the all the gunk on the inside, and here's the backside. Look at all the carbon deposits that built up over time. All right, so what I got here is um, throttle body and air intake cleaner as well as mass airflow sensor cleaner. It's usually a good idea to clean both of these at the same time if you can. Um, so right now we're going to go ahead and focus on the throttle body cleaner. I'll leave a link in the description below so that way you can get the same kind of thing. It's from CRC. I've been using them for years and they're pretty good. So let me grab one of these. Catch all of them. Probably let it marinate for about 10 minutes and then come back and spray again. All right, so go ahead and start wiping it down. All right, so at this point, I'm just going over the throttle body with the cleaner and the rag, spraying and wiping as I go. Uh, just do your best to try to get the carbon deposits off. You could also use a nylon brush, like for instance, an old toothbrush that works perfectly for these situations. Just make sure that when you're opening the throttle body plate, go, go gentle with it. There is very delicate electronics and uh, mechanical things inside the throttle body. So you don't want to let that go all of a sudden and let it like snap back into place. There's been debate online whether or not you should really mess around with these throttle bodies. But in the past, I've cleaned them just like this and haven't had any problems. Uh, so like I said, just don't go, you know, pulling it open real fast or closing it real fast and you should be okay. If you see the pass through where the plate usually rests, that's the trick is getting right there in the middle ground between both sides it's all just built up carbon deposits so it should come off with some good old elbow grease there you go it's looking better i could replace the throttle body assembly you're basically buying this whole thing if you have a throttle position sensor air or on your um your trouble codes you can't replace it separately you basically have to replace this whole throttle body i got some uh scotch bright heavy duty scour pads this, this material is i mean it's good for for washing dishes so it shouldn't damage any of the aluminum here go over it here up here now using a brillo pad you got to be careful because you start seeing some of the uh material land on the throttle plate i'm going to clean that off Just spray the inside here. Spray the inside, outside, all around. I got the throttle body all cleaned out, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. Just gonna spray a little throttle body cleaner on my rag and just kind of go over the inside portion here. Get some old carbon deposits wiped out, cleaned out. See, has a gunk here. When you're putting on the gasket, 
you just want to make sure you have the, uh, the little plastic gasket piece thingy sticking out. You want to make sure it's in that notch at the top, at the 12 o'clock position, okay? And then you're just going to gently push in until you hit the first ridge inside the uh, intake manifold. For the plastic piece thingy majig, basically the part that's smooth, that's the part that's going to be um, up against the gasket. And you just want to make sure that you have it like this, like that, okay? You can see how here, how the gasket sticks out. It's going to push in on the gasket and seal itself. I'm going to put it back in here. And kind of just screw it in, just attack it in place. The four bolts are going to get tightened down to 84 inch pounds. In order to tighten these correctly, we need to go on a crisscross pattern. So I'll just go kind of like in this kind of pattern. Oh, there you go. All right. All right. All right. Connect your electrical connector back to the throttle body. Coolant lines go back on. Just make sure you don't get yours confused as which one goes which. So at this point, we just need to put the intake back on. All right. So got these uh, clamps loosened up. I'm gonna go ahead and begin fitting it. Before I put the vacuum line back together, I'm gonna tighten this one just to make sure that it's good and tight. Okay. vacuum line back there connect your battery back on and 10 millimeter all right. all right so now that we got the throttle body in and everything's back on the engine we have to do a relearn procedure for the throttle body um, it involves turning the car into the arm position, hitting the pedal uh, so many different times. I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet as possible, so let's get cracking. First, you wanna make sure your vehicle's engine and transmission are warmed up. If not, drive it around for about 15 minutes. You wanna make sure your vehicle is parked with the steering wheel in the straight position. Next, you wanna make sure your battery voltage is more than 12.9 volts. Lastly, you wanna make sure all things electric are turned off, including your air conditioner, headlights, and rear window defrogger. It's better to use a stopwatch, but you can count manually as well. Make sure the gas pedal is fully released. Turn ignition switch on and wait at least two seconds. Then turn ignition switch off and wait at least 10 seconds. Turn ignition switch on and wait at least two seconds again. Turn ignition switch off and wait at least 10 seconds again. For the next step, we're gonna make sure the gas pedal is fully released. Turn the ignition switch on and then immediately turn the ignition switch back off. And wait at least 10 seconds in which you should hear the throttle body make this noise. At this point, start the engine just to make sure everything is still nice and warmed up. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and turn the engine off and wait at least 10 seconds. Make sure the gas pedal is fully released and turn the ignition switch on and wait three seconds. Next, we're gonna push and release the gas pedal five times within five seconds. Wait seven seconds and then fully depress the gas pedal and keep it for approximately 20 seconds until the check engine light stops blinking and stays turned on. While holding the pedal down, your check engine light will blink on and off and mine took about the full 20 seconds of blinking before it finally stopped. And once the check engine light stops blinking, you have three seconds to turn the engine on or it's gonna miss the relearning procedure. Start the engine and let it idle for about 20 seconds. The engine idle speed should be around 650 RPM plus or minus 50 RPMs. 
If you've tried this correctly a few times and it's still not working, you might want to check out your throttle body to make sure it's fully closed. Also check out your PCV valve, make sure that's working properly, and check downstream of the throttle body for any kind of vacuum leaks, like that's behind the throttle body, including the intake manifold and any kind of vacuum hoses that go back there. That's it, thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more Trick Shift Garage videos, and we'll see you on the next one.